fresh day. We got a little bit of work done last night. We got all this yes, stuff. Come here, I'll go see Tucky. Hi to our children. Our today. <laughs> so we got all this done. We pulled the fridge out. We got, thankfully we pulled the fridge out because like we kind of mentioned earlier, this fridge is so big for this kitchen that we had it like jammed up against the wall and then we found out it was kind of like freezing up, right? So it's a good thing we pulled it out. It wasn't actually cooling like it should, so we fixed that. Got this area floored in pretty late last night and then we put the fridge back, right? So that's pretty much where we ended up here in the kitchen. And I think the goal is we'll probably do maybe one more strip here and finish out this wall here so that this room is done. But then we're gonna come in this room. So I think maybe, what do you think the, the next thing we should do is like, maybe just get this room cleaned get out. The dining room figured out. Yeah, so we'll probably clean all this. This is like the leftover paint texture and stuff and the little cutoffs of uh, a flooring we had. So maybe we'll clean this room out, kind of sweep everything and just have a fresh start today. And hopefully today get this room finished up, right? Yep. Good? All Sounds right. good, let's, let's get it going. You might be able to see here in the video, but we noticed when we took the carpeting out that the corner edge of the step down from the dining room that we're working on into the living room next to it um, was, wasn't was really squared up. And we, we kind of think that's just because they wanted to kind of soften the edge of the carpet. So they had that, that front two by four piece where the outlet is kind of hanging out not really lining up perfectly square with the subfloor above. So in order to kind of combat that and get that hard edge back, we added this one by material to the face of the two by four. From there, we went ahead and glued our kickboard on, which was just a cut piece of the LVT, and then put our stair nose on top, also using construction adhesive. Looking back at the footage here, we didn't really get too much explanation on how we got the flooring uh, completed in this area. So I just wanted to go back and kind of cover that. Basically what happened is we had bought this flooring with the intention of, you know, using a TNG style stair nose that kind of clips to the end of the flooring. We found out during installation that the stair noses that we received were not, were not the same style tongue and groove as the flooring. So we ran into some issues and we kind of had just had to adjust and make things work. So after talking to one of the installers that came and did our carpet, he mentioned that what they typically do is they'll run the flooring flush with the stair nose. The stair nose will lay a little bit over the flooring, but not much. And they'll usually glue down the first six to 12 inches of the flooring just to kind of keep it from moving. So you'll kind of see as we're laying the flooring down, we put the flooring down, we glue the first few inches, we tape it down and we kind of left it like this for a few days just to dry. We did end up having a few issues with the first couple pieces a few weeks later, and we'll kind of address that in a later video. But for the most part, this did the trick. And afterward, we would just have to go back and fill the cracks with some type of color matched wood filler or putty. <laughs> I'm
Probably done for this video. Chantel's chilling over here. <laughs> We're just chilling out. We still got quite a bit of a mess here. But we got, let me flip this around. We got the flooring done all the way out to the door. We didn't get the bathroom done yet. We got this living room area, this part of the kitchen, pretty much out to right here. Got all this kitchen area done. Got this living room, I mean, sorry, this dining room area done. And then, uh, my father-in-law, Chantel's dad, came over and knocked out a little bit of baseboard for us, just so we can get our dining room table in here. And the best part, we can finally see in this room, because we got this gigantic chandelier, which you could tell is missing one arm. It actually came with all four, but one of them was broken. So we uh, reached out to the company, they're gonna send us another piece. Aside from that, you did a ton of painting this weekend, right? You can probably hear our kids up there. But she got a ton of this stair rail done here. Still more, to do. Still more to do. Obviously we haven't even started that side, but the main goal was just to get the main staircase here done because we want to get the stair noses put on so we can actually like walk around the house without having to put shoes on every time we go up and down the stairs. So that's going to be the next video probably. But I think for right now, that's gonna do it. We got hungry, hungry hippos here. And uh, we're gonna get some rest and go back to work tomorrow. Back at it. And hopefully back at it this weekend. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos about us throwing our lives away into this house. Mm -hmm.